Hey guys, Chris and Gina here. We are buttoning up a couple of things on the Castle Grey skull, but it's almost done and we'll have an awesome video for you guys showcasing it all in its glory in the room. But first, Christopher was thinking about his next project and I said, wait, 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 before you spend months and months and months building another huge project, can you please, please, please make me something? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, what do you want? So. I need a new set for my pick or treat videos, my vintage Halloween videos, if you guys watch those. I didn't want to do the flats this year with the die cuts behind them. I wanted to actually display a lot of my collection and Christopher had a really good idea. I really love Harry Potter and so does Chris. We love the ambiance and the atmosphere and just everything about it and I kind of mimicked my flats off of the honeydukes color that green color that i really liked but i don't want to do that again so christopher was like well what about the store next door called zonko's the magic shop and i was like yes those shelves are fun we can load them up with tons yeah. of stuff in there but i'm not really happy about the red color so i think we're going to change that up yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be fun. It's going to give you lots of space. Yes, and I can actually get my stuff out of the tubs, and I can actually look at it, enjoy it, and so can you guys if yeah. you watch my videos. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to spend the next maybe, I don't know, week or so doing. So we're just going to vlog it. We're not going to get super fancy with filming and stuff like that. But, yeah. yeah, come along like the olden days. We'll take you through the steps of our process, and, yeah, I guess... You want to show them about the materials and all that kind of stuff we're going to be using? Sure. All right, let's go. So all I'm doing is just cutting these in half. Yeah. And that's how we figured out the width of Gina's shelves. And that way we can get the most out of this. The only problem is we don't have any wood that's like eight foot tall. So I could go to the store and buy some plywood, but instead I'm just joining them. Yeah. So I used a biscuit joiner and I shot them with some staples. And then the, and then glued them onto the flats. You got all fancy on me. Yeah. Yeah, and this wood was actually left over um, a world market, if you guys know that store. It went out of business during COVID. Yep. And they just gave all of their shelving and metal and stuff like that. So, of course, you know, the metal scrappers were like, and we were like, wait, let's get yeah. some of that before they take it all. And so <laughs> there was, a, oh, there my gosh, there was. There was, like, four, like, trucks lined up, and yeah. they were, like, hauling all of it. So Yeah. We had a few flats that were on Gina's wall that had the green color. The plan is to modify those walls and then build a couple extra little two-footers and then we're gonna create these shelves. So a lot of the materials and stuff that I'm tearing apart is from our witch cottage. Uh, that thing's been kind of sitting and rotting in the back. It's kind of <laughs> sad, but I've been slowly like borrowing wood from it. And so it's dwindling smaller and smaller. So I'm using that wood, I'm using this wood. So hopefully it won't cost us uh, too much. We'll have to buy some paint colors. Yeah, so when you go into Honey Dukes, one of the things that we really like is that over in the corner, there's a little area that's Zonko's little trick and magic shop. Now they have a really fancy one in Japan, I think, and in Ooh. Universal Let's Studios, go. Florida. I know. <laughs> so we're modeling after that. And one of the things that really stuck out to us is they had like pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and a little bit of Halloween skeletons and yeah. some vintage Halloween that Gina was like, hey, that's I know. faded to the sun. I know. There's some <laughs> noisemakers in the window that my heart just kind of cries every time I pass them. I'm like, I'll take them and give them a good home out of the sun. <laughs> yeah. This is a shelf where I store a lot of my blow molds on and my tabletop ones. This ghost in the corner right here, I want to measure it and see how tall it is. I'd like to incorporate it if I can. Yeah, I think that's about two feet tall. So I will make one of my shelves two feet tall so I can incorporate him on there. I'm not going to do anything taller than that because that's just going to get rid of a lot of my shelf space. I'd also love to incorporate this huge skull somewhere. So I'm going to measure him. Let's see. Yep, he's about two foot two. So oh, don't mind the big old crack in our wall. You got to love living in Earthquake Valley. I've got some new, very vintage stuff that I'm going to be incorporating into this shelves. And I'll do a better video on this, but I wanted to come in here and kind of get an idea of the height of some of these things so I can do a couple of small shelves but um yeah I'm super excited to incorporate this stuff into it because it's so awesome 
Chris was pulling this board out. I was like, oh, be careful. There's gum right there. Oh, yeah. no, it's so gross. That's one thing you won't get if you get new wood. <laughs> no, sometimes. Diesel, maybe. <laughs> the bad thing about using, you know, old wood. <laughs> there was a couple pieces like that. Was but, there? Yeah, and there's also quite a bit of, like, towel lint or mm, dust mm -hmm. and yeah. junk and stuff. But... <laughs> got to figure out something to do. You just scrape it off, sand it off, and it's good as new. <laughs> or we can leave it on there. Make sure I put an extra coat of uh, primer on there. <laughs> <laughs> These are the World Market shelves. So this is what they look like when they're assembled. And then, of course, you know, they'd have the candles and whatnot that they were selling on there. But these were my flats. And if you guys remember... They were this green color, if you can see that right there. And I'll throw a picture in here too for you, but this was the set that I would use to do my pick or treat videos on my collection videos. There we got <laughs> shelves, shelves, and more shelves. So I just grabbed this paint color from our supply of leftover paint, and it looks like a light orange color. I'm going to open it up. It feels like there's quite a bit in there, but let's see. Well, I'm kind of bummed. It's a little too light of a yellow color. So I think it is a light orange, but it definitely has a lot more yellow in it. Yeah, we'll pass on this one. All right, guys, just got out of Home Depot. I got the orange paint. I got some primer. I have to still look for a gold color for the trim, but I'm excited that I got the orange. I went back and forth between a couple of them, but I like the one that I got. Um, I just wanted to say a huge shout out and thank you to Janine and Laura of Shiny Bright Doggo. I want to say thank you to Matt Strange, and I want to say thank you to Scott. You guys all bought us a cup of coffee on our buy a coffee for us, and you guys, we used that money to help buy the paint. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. <music> I swear yesterday it was just a flat with some lines on it and yeah. look at what we have already today you have like a whole thing framed out it's even already attached and glued look at this little biscuit joining yeah sexy section right here it should be okay too because when we put our shelves in there yeah it'll uh it'll support it hopefully oh yeah I definitely will. And my stuff is light, so I mean, you don't yeah. have to. I'm trying to think of, I don't think there's anything super heavy. Maybe like a ceramic something, but. Yeah. All right, I cut some little scrap pieces of wood and I have them marked out where I'd like my shelves to be. Chris is going to come back in here and make real ones. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you what I was thinking for spacing. Getting more shelves. Pretty boy. I'm going to be sad when we run out of these, though. Yeah. I'm going to be like, I don't have my own little supply of wood. <laughs> 
We're always trying to figure out ways of getting free materials, aren't we? Yeah, but it's getting harder these days. It is. There's other people doing the same thing. Yeah. They're like, my wood! <laughs> do, 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 do. Ta da! This thing's huge! It is Why huge! Why it gotta be so big? <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. I've got a lot of things that I can put on here, and I'm super oh. duper excited! Yes, you do. I'm sure you're gonna have no problem filling this up. You are so fast! Man, All I right, can't so wait! This is not done, obviously, but this kind of gives you an idea of Gina's little uh, shelf set up. You've got three other sections right here that are going. Yes. And uh, so there's still quite a bit of work to do. What you got, extra detail? Yeah, so I kind of did a quick drawing just to kind of give people an idea, but we're gonna add some trim there. Mm -hmm. The plan is to leave these off. We're gonna paint them first and then I'll just shoot them on and we'll do some touch-ups. Um, and then also too, if you look at the top, we were going back and forth on whether or not we were gonna add the, the fancy scallop that's at, uh, at the park. Yep. But I kind of like it being open because yeah. then I can put more stuff. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you know what? There, there is some clearance for me to just add a top. Like we could always just do oh, a later. Top shelf later mm -hmm. if you wanted. But leaving it open is good because Gina can put something taller and you're not going to see it on camera or not unless you point up here. And yeah. Stuff. But, but yeah, turning the flaps into uh, shelves. Shelves. Yeah. Let's get a little a side idea. profile here. Helps, helps keep this thing sturdy. So you can see the flat on the back, and then mm -hmm. you just attach some wood to the yeah. front. Yeah, and you even got a fancy kick plate on the bottom right here. Yeah. Add some trim on there, just like it was at the Wizarding World. Now, obviously, at the Wizarding World, this is huge, a lot bigger. <laughs> Everything's taller and more space. We don't have 20-foot ceilings. We condensed it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, so, my goodness. Cool. It'll get painted in the next one, right? Yeah. But don't yeah. still be some construction. <laughs> don't worry, I'll paint it. <laughs> you look so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.